do you analyze a good property? All investing starts with assessment of risk. And to assess risk, you got to look at facts and figures. So let's talk about the numbers for a second. If you're writing this down, I want you to write this. How much is going to cost me to buy the property? Number one. Number two, how much is going to be the, the, the loan amount? Number three, what are going to be the, the payments and the terms? Am I getting a fixed rate at 4.5% for three years? Or am I getting uh, a, an interest only for three years, then it's going to change to market? So what, what kind of risk do I have? Okay, so how much, how much you buy the property? How much loan amount am I going to get? How much is going to be my payment? What is the income, realistic income? Not what they're telling me, what I can verify. What is the realistic income? They tell me, oh, you can get, this is a, we're talking about four plexes. This is a four plex, you can get thirteen fifty a month per unit. And you find out when you check the market, all you can get is 1100 Work your numbers on 1100 You either buy something you're comfortable with or don't do it. There is other deals. Okay, so payments and terms. And then the income realistic, the income and the expenses. You sit down and you ask that seller, give me the expenses. How much is it for the property taxes, property insurance? Um, who pays the trash pickup? Who pays the utilities for that property? Is there common area uh, maintenance that you have to pay for? Is it passed on to the tenants? Um, is there replacement to be scheduled for the roof? So what is the condition? So you have to schedule all this in the expenses and then you're going to get the net operating income. Compare that net operating income to how much time and effort you're going to spend. So I'm going to repeat. All investing starts with the assessment of risk. Figure out how much to buy the property, how much loan are you going to get, what's going to be your payment. So now you're going to figure out how much is the income on that property, how much are the expenses, and the net operating income, you're going to live and die by the net operating income. That net operating income better make the payments to the bank, plus have enough to cover all expenses, and you have some net income so you can have some return on the cash down payment you put. Whether that cash down payment is your money or you studied with us how to raise capital and it's investor's money. That has to be return on money because you're going to spend the time and effort and you want the highest and best use for your time and effort. And believe me, this is not so complicated. This is just emotional game of you being able to calm yourself down, look at the numbers and let the numbers speak for themselves. And if you don't let the numbers speak for themselves, the numbers are gonna scream in your ears after you buy it, sell, you're gonna go bankrupt. All right, I got too much emotion on this, but go ahead.